So personalized medicine involves tailoring drug therapy based on an individual's characteristics, including genotype. And so the way that it works and what we're doing at UF Health is we're genotyping individuals at the time that they undergo percutaneous coronary intervention, or PCI. PCI is a procedure that's done for patients who have blocked coronary arteries and then we're using that genetic information to help select the best therapy for that patient after the procedure. So after PCI, medications are commonly prescribed. The most common one is called Plavix or Clopidogrel, and this is prescribed in that patient to help prevent a thrombus from occurring in that stent. So a thrombus is a clot in the stent which can have devastating consequences. These therapies also help to improve survival and prevent adverse cardiovascular events, which include heart attacks and stroke. About 30% of individuals inherit a deficiency in the protein that converts uh, Plavix to its active form. So in these individuals, Plavix is not as effective at preventing adverse cardiovascular events. At UF Health, we started genotyping patients undergoing PCI in 2012, and then using this ge genetic information to help select the best antiplatelet therapy for that patient, whether it be Plavix or whether they would need another drug. So what we found from this multi-institutional collaboration, including about 1,800 patients, is that individuals who inherited a deficiency in the enzyme that activates Plavix, if they were treated with an alternative drug, they actually had improved outcomes compared to those who were treated with clopidogrel and had one of these deficiencies. So what we're hoping is that this information will be useful in prompting other institutions to adopt genotype guided therapy and potentially could lead to a change in the guidelines for whether or not genotyping should be done in the setting of PCI.